the Razorbacks would play one of the most complete games of the season, as all five starters were in double figures. Chelsea Dungey put up 31, including 10 of 12 from the free throw line. Arkansas would walk away with a 10-point win. Really proud of and for our group. We've played really good basketball the last month of this season, and we couldn't get a win um, for whatever reason. Um, but these kids kept showing up every single day at practice. I'm not going to tell you it was rainbows, unicorns, and roses every single day because it's not. But they stuck together, and for the second year in a row, we've played our best basketball game of the season in the first game of the SEC tournament. I just think that speaks volumes for your leaders. Up next was a quarterfinals matchup with the two seed and four-time defending tournament champion South Carolina. Dungey scored 31 again, and this time she was a perfect 13 of 13 from the charity strike. The effort today was tremendous. I've always said on the second day when you've played, it's your advantage in the first half, which we, we took advantage of, and then that advantage turns to their side in the second half, which they took control of with a 35-point quarter. But this time our kids answered back. At Arkansas, we didn't. And we learned from that, and I'm really proud of our group for learning from our mistakes and starting again to peak and play our best basketball at the right time. In the semifinals, Arkansas would go up against Gary Blair and his Texas A&M Aggies. The Razorbacks trailed most of the game, but somehow found the energy to overcome a 16-point deficit. They held the Aggies scoreless in the final six minutes while going on a 17-0 run. History had been made. This would mark Arkansas's first ever appearance in the SEC Tournament Finals. We going to the champ! We going to the champ! We going to the champ! Couldn't be more proud that it's with this group of kids. That uh, it's a, it's a, we're a blended family. Um, uh, you know, Jalen stuck around in a, in a time and a climate where every kid has every opportunity to bolt on a university and a team, and she didn't. Thank you for staying. Uh, along with the other kids that did, y'all can go through and enlist them. And then to get a few kids to believe in us from the get-go, like, like Chelsea did, and IT did, and Raven did, and then Lex. I couldn't be more proud to be associated with them and get to fly around and ride on the bus with them. It's an unbelievable feeling right now. For the past three years is the first time that I've been here in this situation, and I'm extremely proud to be able to have Coach Neighbors um, be my head coach and have people like Chelsea just come out and be so positive and have such a great impact on our team. And we're really excited for where we're going right now. It just ha it hasn't even hit me yet that we're playing in the finals tomorrow. Um, I'm sure it will tonight. Um, but no, like, like Coach Neighbor said, I'm so happy to be a part of this team. I'm so happy that I, I chose the school to be coached by Coach Neighbors and to play with people like Jalen Mason and our seniors. And just we have a special group. We really do. We've we fought through adversity together. And this is something that we've, we've fought so hard for. Arkansas would run up against Mississippi State in the championship game. Tierra McCowan and the Bulldogs were too much for the Razorbacks to handle. We had no answer. We were making stuff. We were drawing stuff in the dirt, literally uh, trying to figure out. And they're just really, really hard to guard. And especially when they play like they did and shoot it like they did on the perimeter. Even though we didn't win, nobody really expected us to even come out this far. So I just feel like, you know, it's a really great experience to be out here competing with the best and able to compete with my teammates and get as far as we did. And that's like the best group of girls I've played, you know, basketball with. And I'm hoping and praying we make it to the tournament so we can continue what we're doing. Unfortunately, the NCAA did not come calling. Instead, Arkansas would have to settle for the WNIT and more home games at Bud Walton Arena. First up was Houston. Arkansas would survive an overtime thriller. Chelsea Dungey led the way with 37. She's just a killer. You know, I, I, that killer gene, there's a lot of big time scorers that don't have the killer gene. But she's got that get me the ball, that Jimmy Chitwood gene or whoever we want to reference. You know, I love movies, you know. I think if I'd have drawn a play up for anybody else, they'd all stood up and looked at me and, you know, she'd said, I'll make it. I just, I, that's just who she is. In the second round, Arkansas would host UAB in front of 4,000 at Bud Walton Arena. The Razorbacks ran away with this one, 100 to 52. Everyone that played scored. Spangler, three-pointer, Spangler hit. 100. I can tell you this, I'm done putting limits on this group. I'm done. Because they, they amaze me every time. Like I said the other day, I said in Greenville, I don't think we can play any better than we played, and we've done it back-to-back -back games. That's the best we've played. Four days later, TCU would come to town. 
Over 5,000 showed up and watched the Razorbacks and Horned Frogs battle all the way to the end. However, TCU would advance 82-78 your final. The crowd has been the difference maker for us. We thought if we could get into the last four minutes that our adrenaline would carry us, and we just didn't give them any reason to cheer for us. I thought we kept battling. You know, we got it to one there a couple times, but they made their free throws. So our kids didn't quit. They kept playing down to the buzzer. But the crowd has been the difference for us in all these NIT games. Yeah. Mal's not going to be able to walk around Little Rock to, without being recognized. She's not going to be able to walk around. Everybody in Fayetteville knows Mal. Everybody in the state of Arkansas knows Mal. A legacy, you know, stayed. Could have left when a lot of people were leaving in a, in a day and time when it's the easiest thing to do is walk over and put your name in the portal. I just love saying that word, portal. Um, it's, it, it would have been so easy for her to do that, uh, but she didn't. You know, what Bailey has done as well, you know, that's a kid that is, is given so many things that don't show up on a stat sheet. Raven coming in here for two years, giving us another Arkansas kid uh, that understood what it meant to be a Razorback. And then, you know, Sid, the stuff that she did in practice, uh, the things that she did for us, you know, she um, made sacrifices that we can't ever repay him. If we ever win a championship of any kind, I'll be buying those four guys rings. I will, all four of them, because we couldn't have jumped all those hurdles without the individual sacrifices they all made. This group accomplished so, so much. And the number of, not only the number of wins, but who we did it against, it will go down as, as one of those years that I, I remember for a long, long, long time.